guys, welcome to the first and final podcast for the Copper Sun. On my left, we have Aiden Holder. Introduce yourself. Hi, I am in Miss Pottenberg's class, and I am doing Copper Sun podcast. And to the left of Aiden, we have Sarah Martinez. Introduce yourself. Hello. And today we are going to be talking about the destruction of the Zafi. So Aiden, would you start us off? So basically, it was like all normal and stuff, and they were talking, they were like t- telling their stories and stuff yeah. like they always do. And then they saw visitors, and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna welcome them, like kindly and stuff." And then they came up and just took them. <laughs> they they took them and then killed a bunch of other people. Yeah, they killed some people. They took some people. You know. They they were a whole bad. lot of mess. Yeah, they were very bad people. Yeah. Yes. Well, and they had they had sticks that were actually guns. Yeah, they thought they were sticks because they've never yeah. seen guns because they lived in a village. But also, the people who kidnapped them were white. Yes. No so that means they didn't like the black people. Yeah, but this was at the time when it was normal. It was still oh, racist, yes. but it was normal. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah, what did you think on the destruction of the Zafi? It, it was just terrible. It was a terrible tragedy. Um, children murdered. Elders murdered. But the only people they didn't murder was Were the young, the, the young, young strong young, people. Young, uh, like Aiden over here. Aiden over here. He has a lot of muscle. He was. He would probably be saved in this mass murder. But is it better to be saved, or would it be better to be shot in this situation? Would you rather be on the shot. Slave, slave trade or die? I don't want to be a slave. But would you have? Back then, you couldn't have the option to say. Would you rather be a slave, or would you rather be shot? I would rather be shot. Sarah, would what? you rather be shot <laughs> no, or be a slave? Not- <laughs> the destruction of the village. It was really bad. It Many people were killed. Not many people. Very sad. It was very sad. And reason many people were even saved was so that they could be sold on the slave trade. They were sold over and over again yes it's just messed up it is is not good but the worst part about it well not that that pretty much was the worst part about it but another bad part about it was that the village uh was like welcoming welcoming them with open arms you know yeah. and then they just sort of like responded to like peacefulness with just Violence. Yeah. They just walked right over the welcome mat without wiping their feet. And yeah. with guns in hand. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But they did call them, they said that they had goat's milk skin. The skin as white as goat's milk, which means that they've uh, never yeah. seen a white person before. Yeah, it's kind of like bad impression. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, first white people you see. And then they and then, slaughter your village. And then they and kill your parents you. and shoot your elder. No, Aiden. Yeah. What would you do in this situation? Um, I'd, I'd let them kill me. I don't... Well, if you were an able-bodied young person, <laughs> what would you do in this situation? Die. That, that doesn't work like that, because they would probably take you and sell you. In the market. But what if I poked my eyes out and then I would be useless? What? Well, I guess that's a way to do it. That is, I guess, like you but could dig your, you could dig your eyeball out and then hand it to them, and then you'd be like, "Oh, this slave's useless." Pew. Or, or you, take, or you could just fight them. Yeah. Just no, they have them. guns. Yes, well, and like, then they'll shoot, shoot you. <laughs> they'll shoot you. But I want. <laughs> If you had no eyes, they would also shoot you, and also you can't see. Well, then I wouldn't be able to see the gun being pointed at my head, so it would be a surprise. Well, <laughs> if um, the guy... No, 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 no. If the guy was five feet from you, 
you could not even hear the gunshot that sh that kills you. Well, I wouldn't want to see the gun being pointed at me. That doesn't make any sense, because you've already <laughs> seen them stop. walk into the village and shoot people, and then right, you poke your eyes out. we've established at this point and that then... Aiden would die. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. And then, Sarah, what would you do in this situation? Fight back until they shoot you. What if they don't? Well, you kind of just got to go with it then. Um... Then again, just try to kill yourself in the end. <laughs> wow, what a great message we've shown I know, right? on this podcast. <laughs> if you are in <laughs> any situation, <laughs> choose dead. Just yeah. So basically, they were sold like coffee beans around the world. Yes. <laughs> coffee beans. But, <laughs> but I don't think the coffee beans were compared stuck on to like cattle or something. Cause that's what Abari did. Yeah, because I don't think the coffee beans were kept. <laughs> <laughs> in in slave boats and then made to dance. I don't think the coffee beans. <laughs> Have you ever seen a j jumping bean? That's not they a dance. coffee. Bean. <laughs> Stop. All right. Have you ever seen a jumping bean? Have you oh ever Have you ever seen a jumping bean? I no. Not, not. Only, how how high do they jump? Let me check, let me look this up. A centimeter. What what one centimeter? <laughs> That's not Holy even. Cow, like... They got jumps. No, they don't. <laughs> For a bean! That's a pretty high jump. They were sold like jumping beans. They were, no, but back to where we were. Alright, so... How, back to... How, yeah. to, back to Amari and her village being shot and set to flame. Yeah. So, like, they really just walked in and then just shot them all. Yeah. Like, and then, like, so, like, Amari ran into the forest with her brother... And then they found them and shot and then killed her brother and then shot that little brother but this is a question for both aiden and sarah why yeah. do you think they killed the elders first because they're Cause, useless yeah they didn't think they'd have much use with like because they wanted like strong people yeah and they do, were like, old do, like, lifting, and, and they would die they wanted to be able to slide uh, survive <laughs> survive but wouldn't you also <laughs> think they would kill the elders first because they might have knowledge. Knowledge? No. I, I don't think the um, the white people were like. I don't think they cared about knowledge because they just wanted people to work on their like plantations. Yeah. Because they're lazy. But also, and they didn't want them to have knowledge so that they could escape. Yeah. Yeah, because if like they're more knowledgeable, they wanted to keep them dumb, so they wouldn't like escape so that's why most of them did not know how to read or write or speak english yeah how did, why do you think they had to shackle them up from like so that they couldn't just run away yeah. or kill themselves yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah i feel like like if you were in sleep probably you'd probably just like your first instinct is just run away like just not stay fight there. or flight yeah so, so they couldn't pick up the sticks and just on a rampage. Yeah. What do you what do you feel about this like whole just situation in general? It, it, it sucked. It sucked, but it was kind of a bummer. It's like if you had a birthday party or somebody invited to invited you to a birthday party and then you got there and then you partied and you had fun and you played Heads Up Seven Up and you played Tic Tac Toe and then you danced and then you ate cake and then they shot you. And that's like, that's not fun. Then they shot the elders, and then they put you in shackles and walked you yeah, to like, boats. How, how do you think, like, how would this, like, affect all the people who survived? Do you think they'd, like, develop, like, PTSD because of this? PTSD. They would never forget. They would be mentally scarred forever. They would hate white people forever. That's true. Yeah. Don't you think most people... Kind of do that same thing, but with cops. If they have like one bad experience with them, then it kind of. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like if like you're when you're being introduced to like something in like general, and you have like a really really bad experience with that, you just sort of anytime you're around that or something, it just you do not feel like good at all. So you always gotta make a good first impression. That's why most people are probably scared of water, because they get in the water, something scary happens, or 
if their yeah. first experience with like open waters was like Jaws, then they would probably be scared of water for a long time. That's pretty much how BTSC works. It just you're scared of it until maybe you're not, or probably maybe forever scared. Who knows? Uh, okay, so at the beginning, like it mentions how the white people had um, slaves of like other villages with them. Yeah. Like, why do you think like they didn't help? like the tribe because they knew what was going to happen to them. I uh, I think I'll let Aiden answer this one. It's because they just wanted to die. Huh? They just wanted to die. They didn't care about helping anybody else because they were already in the, the chains. So like they couldn't do anything really. And if they talked they would have been shot. So. Yeah. Are we talking about the African soldiers that worked with the white people? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking about the people who, okay, okay. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. Um, well, I mean, they did kind of help. Um, um, one, the, one of the guys, when they, like, got there, one of the African workers was speaking their, like, uh, native language and told them just, like, to survive and stuff. Yeah. So they kind of did help in, like, just a little, though. Like, not give up, like a motivational speech. Yeah. But they also, if they did have weapons, if they let, if they gave their slaves weapons, which I don't think they would, because then they would just turn on their masters or turn on themselves. But why do you think Sharon Draper, the author, wrote such a descriptive, like, part showing how good her village was? So um. we could be immersed show how much they had um before they lost it all yeah i kind of so thought easily it was just like ripped away yeah like to show how sudden things can just can just happen all of a sudden how bad things can turn yeah We're thank you miss pottenberg uh thank you mr uh, matthews please give us a good grade please give uh, us a good grade we we built this work. entire set and we're I all ate a bagel. Really hard. he ate a bagel me and sarah put together this set it took us forever uh, so thank you. Bye. Oh, wait.